My name is Darcia, and welcome back. I um, am going to be talking today about several things that have made my life uh, a lot easier, a lot more helpful uh, since I've had shoulder surgery. Uh, I had my right rotator cuff repaired four weeks ago. It's my second repair for my right shoulder. This time around, I've really been able to think of some things that definitely do make my life easier. Uh, with the recovery process. So if you've ever uh, been through rotator cuff surgery, if you are going to be going through one and want to prepare, if you know of anybody who needs to have some type of a shoulder surgery where you know, you're know you really going to be immobilized in this sling and you, you can't take it off, you're in it all the time, just uh, keep watching and I will uh, give you a couple of tips and things that I think have made my life uh, quite a bit easier. The first tip that I have is when you are in the shower, and honestly, this is a great idea. So the pump bottles, uh, I don't think this one's open yet, but I don't know if I can even open it. Oh, there we go. So the pump bottle is great because whatever it is, this is body wash, but I, I got one with body wash, I got one with uh, shampoo and conditioner, whatever it is you use, because one-handed, it is difficult to take a bottle, flip open the top, turn it, squeeze it, have this. So what I, I usually do is I'll take the handle of this and kind of wrap it around like this. And then I will just press down and the uh, product will go onto your shower poof. But I love this, especially since the shower poof has this little uh, handle on it. And then I one handed and it's, it's so, so nice because I don't have to get my in um, my injured arm involved at all. Just you can't use it, so you have to always remember not to use it. Uh, so this makes it a lot easier. My next tip or recommendation for preparing for shoulder surgery is what I did. I think I went onto Amazon and I looked for shirts for shoulder surgery recovery, and they were incredibly expensive. I mean, they were 50 to $70. I'm, I'm gonna choose not to afford that. So if you're somebody who can sew a straight line, this is an idea maybe for you. So I went to Walmart and I picked up a couple of these. Um, this is just a, like a, a black t-shirt. I uh, picked up a yellow t-shirt and I, I got like five of them. I figured that would help me through like a wash cycle. And they are like $3, uh, the really cheap t-shirts that you can get. And um, I sized up like four sizes because I wanted them to fit really loose on me. I figured that once we washed them, they would shrink, uh, which they did. Uh, so just take a note of that when you're buying cheap t-shirts, a lot of times they will shrink, so I'm glad I did that. So this is Velcro. You can also get the Velcro at Walmart or any Hobby Lobby, Joann's type store. Um, so I'm gonna just use my teeth because I have one hand. Uh, so just, this is what you kind of have to do by yourself. So if you're trying to put this shirt on by yourself, this is a good tip anyway, but I'll show you how you do. So you have to open up the shirt. So I had sewn in just a strip of Velcro. And so what I did, I just took my scissors, I cut the shirt right at the shoulder. And then I sewed in one half of the Velcro on one side of the shirt, one half of the Velcro on the other side of the shirt, then it was so helpful. So for example, when I went to, I'll show you on this shirt, I picked up a pack of white Velcro and a pack of black Velcro and it worked. Uh, this shirt here, so the black kind of uh, matches and it doesn't real stick out with the black fabric. I also used the black on some navy blue shirts that I did. Also, when I went to the physical therapist, it was so nice. What the physical therapist did, he just opened up the whole sleeve and I tucked in one side into uh, my bra on one side and the other side just kind of opened up to the back and the whole shoulder area is exposed for uh, the physical therapist to work on. Um, and it was so, so, so functional. And so I definitely wear these for physical therapy days, which is like two to three times a week for uh, shoulder surgery recovery, especially initially when you first start. But yeah, I definitely recommend uh, just cutting up some cheap shirts or maybe you already have like uh, whatever shirts in your in your uh, drawer. Uh, get those, cut them up, put some Velcro on them, 
and you will save yourself so much money and uh, so much um, hassle. They're great if you have to dress yourself. I could do it myself. My husband usually helps me put them on, but I could do it myself. Whereas if I were to put on a regular t-shirt uh, by myself, I just couldn't do it um, without trying to activate my arm in some way. So lifesaver. The next tip that I have for you is grocery shopping. So um, I live in a town where we have Walmart grocery pickup. So I just get uh, pre like packaged foods. So small like yogurt, we get that anyway. Uh, so like this is cantaloupe chunks that we just picked up from uh, Walmart. We have cut up cantaloupe, we have cut up pineapple, we have cut up watermelon, we have cut up like this, it's like a bag. Instead of buying the broccoli florets, because I can't cut anything with my left hand, it's just, um, I feel like I will cut myself. Uh, it's amazing how much you really uh, get used to having two hands. Whatever it is that you wanna get, I would just say, um, we have also, I didn't bring it because it's like a big frozen thing, but I also have gotten some like frozen family dinners from like Stouffer's or whatever brand, P.F. Chang's or Walmart brand, whatever it is that you like to eat. Uh, just some family meals that are already pre-frozen. I can uh, put them in the oven and when my family comes home, there's a meal. Otherwise, uh, it's, it's just not gonna happen unless you just eat ramen and even that, how do you open the package easily? With one hand it's, it's it's very difficult so do these things to save yourself a little bit of uh, headache uh, and some time other ideas you can get the pre-made vegetable trays uh, those mandarin oranges that eat easy peel in addition i've been buying pre-sliced cheese and it's just saved me i've gotten shredded cheese already pre-bagged things like that have made cooking possible and it's and when i say cooking i'm doing a really like loose cooking but it is, uh, it wouldn't have been possible even at all without some of these tips. So hopefully that is helpful for you um, as you're thinking about what you're gonna eat uh, when you have shoulder surgery. My next tip for shoulder surgery was helpful for me because this time when I had my surgery done, it was, uh, like I said, it's been winter. Um, <clears throat> it was January, so all of February I've been recovering and uh, I try to take, go outside and take even short walks just to get some sunshine and it is really cold where I live. I can't even imagine trying to put on a coat by myself. So what has been so helpful is that I had a wonderful friend give me this, uh, it's like a little fleece blanket and it's not a really massive one. It's like a personal sized fleece blanket. So it's, it's something I've been able to throw on myself one handed. It's pretty warm. We wash it all the time. It's held up really well and it's still really soft. And so I've been, especially when I go outside, I throw it around my shoulders, just kind of like, um, I don't even know, like a, like, like a cape. And I go outside and this is so great. So if you have some type of a, a warm uh, blanket you can throw around yourself, that will make going outside easier if it is a cold climate where you are, because uh, that's something to definitely think about. Last uh, thing that I wanna show you today is a wedge pillow that I got from Amazon. I will put the link to it in the description box below. I would highly recommend that you check it out. Uh, this wedge pillow has been amazing. Uh, when I sleep, I want to sleep at an angle uh, because it just relieves the pressure on my shoulder. Uh, with the first shoulder surgery that I had, I just was propping up pillows. It was lumpy and it wasn't high enough. It takes a lot of pillows to really get you to the angle that this wedge does. And it's a nice smooth surface. I can sleep really well at night. And uh, the pain control has been amazing uh, with this pillow. If I'm about walking, sitting upright, just doing things around the house and my shoulder really can start to ache, I can just go lay down and just even 10 minutes laying on an incline like that, it, my shoulder it has, like, the pain goes away, it takes all the pressure off. So I have been sleeping on this every single night now for uh, over four weeks. So a month now and it still looks great. This is what it looks like. Look how massive this is. It's two feet wide and two feet long and it's a foot high or maybe it's 10 inches high. But this thing has been so amazing and it, it's held up really well as you can see. It doesn't have any really denting in it. 
Uh, it looks uh, great. Please check this out. I mean, I wish that I would have had it my first time around, uh, but I know now I can compare the two experiences. This is so much better. It is amazing. It is so great. I love it. It's amazing. That's all I can say about it. Get one. You won't regret it. So those are my few things that I have today for you to help you uh, as you recover from shoulder surgery. I just want these videos to be helpful. It's a long recovery, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. So if this can help you or help anybody that you know of, I ask, would you share it? Would you recommend this to somebody else? Uh, I think that uh, I just wish I would have seen this video, my first shoulder surgery. Uh, it, it would have been so helpful and even going into my second one I was still trying to figure out like what can I do what can make it easier and so if there can just be more information out there about recovery in general how to live kind of a as much of a normal life as you can uh, with recovery I definitely would uh, recommend it thank you for watching my video also I just appreciate you if you have any comments that you want to leave there's a comment box at the very bottom please leave a comment thank you again and I hope that you will have a great day goodbye